Hello everyone. Good night. Excuse the camera moving around. Bear with me while everyone jumps on. So I was just about to go to bed and Archangel Raphael had a very special message for me. So I wanted to come on and deliver it really quickly because this is something that is affecting a lot of people as you as, as the collective is pushing to ascend to the fifth dimension okay and it has to do with mental health it has to do with energy vampires um especially narcissistic and pessimistic parents and children okay um there is a lot of worry from a lot of people that i encounter and a lot of the a lot of the children of the archangels and the mysteries there's a lot of worry regarding what about my narcissistic parent what about my narcissistic child um are they gonna ascend to the fifth dimension and they wanted me to talk to you guys about this okay because this is really important so important um the fifth dimension ascending to the fifth dimension is an individual experience it's not a method of healing it's not a method of healing or controlling other people it is a method of healing yourself okay and ascending yourself and through yourself influencing my cats are playing <laughs> influencing hopefully influencing others however i need to bring the narcissistic person to the forefront okay um because that's what spirit is really focusing on this week uh and archangel Raphael has spent hours talking to me about it but basically the hours of uh that archangel Raphael and i have spoken about this basically come down to a few concepts and i'm going to talk to you about it right now narcissistic people they do not believe that what they're doing is wrong they will never admit that what they're doing is wrong and when i say narcissistic people in the spiritual realm we call them energy vampires meaning people who enjoy sucking you dry of your energy who enjoy pushing your buttons and getting a reaction out of you and they live for that reaction they live for the, that that reaction that you're gonna give they live for being the bully and looking like the good guy okay and a lot of them cause in those who are not narcissistic extreme mental anguish extreme spiritual drainage and a lot of people who are narcissistic tend to think they are the good guy. Oh, I'm such a good guy. Oh, I'm such a good girl, right? But a lot of them, those who are narcissistic and pessimistic, and they just drain you dry, will never change. It will, they will never ascend to the fifth dimension in this lifetime if you're dealing with this person. Um, most of the time, they will never ascend. To the fifth dimension because they refuse to heal that which is causing the issue they have incarnated into this lifetime to be the villain in your story okay the villain that you have to overcome so they are that part of yourself that part of that not yourself but that reflection of yourself which is the villain that you have to overcome okay the antagonist to your story in a way narcissistic people energy vampires are extremely difficult to deal deal with especially when you are when you are the child of this narcissistic energy when you are the child of this energy vampire i can tell you that <laughs> um from experience when you are the child of a narcissistic energy it is extremely difficult 
to overcome it. But you can overcome it. You can be happy. However, you need to love that person at a distance. The only solution to dealing with an energy vampire, to dealing with a narcissistic person, especially if they are your child or your grown child or um, your parent, is to love them at a distance. Meaning that you do not give them access to your energy. Um, and it's not a form of punishment. It is a form of controlling and having boundaries. Now, that doesn't mean that you cut off that person completely. However, you discuss with them your boundaries. And if they cross your boundaries, you remove yourself from the situation. Okay? It's easy for people to see abuse when someone is hitting you, when someone is, is, um, when someone is using drugs and alcohol and you're and you know and you tell your friends oh my god like my my parent is an alcoholic is a drug addict um you know you tell your friends these things i'm using this as an example my my parents were not drug addicts or alcoholics but um i do have a lot of experience with energy vampires um there it's very easy to recognize when your parent is abusive if they are an alcoholic a drug addict or a um or is beating you right um physically those are easy abuses to notice right however one of the biggest abuses are energy vampires and many very often in the mental field of course they're called narcissists and pessimists and they they have different um, qualifications usually the pessimist is just as bad as the narcissist except instead of thinking that they're great and they're perfect the pessimist always thinks they're the victim the pe pessimist is always like my life sucks my life is never perfect my life is this always complaining there's always an excuse there's always a negativity there's never a solution to anything so they're extremely extremely negative so that's how they drain you that's another form of energy vampire you have the narcissist which drains you by getting a reaction out of you by get, driving you crazy and who thinks and have this superiority complex complex and then you have the pessimist which is always the victim poor me poor me nothing ever works out for them but in reality they're the ones that are blocking themselves along the whole way and they they go through life being this energy vampire and sucking off of everyone that will allow them to this happens a lot in when parents use their kids as therapists okay um it's really important to realize that mental abuse is abuse. In I grew up in a culture where mental abuse is not recognized. There is physical abuse and that's it. <laughs> um, but mental abuse can pop, sometimes do worse damage than physical abuse because mental abuse can lead you to wanting to do things like commit suicide and can damage your spirit to a point where it is so fractured that you have to rebuild yourself completely. And I can tell you from experience that it is a horrible way to live, okay? So if you have to, for your mental health, keep this narcissist this pessimist energy vampire at a distance the archangels want you to know the mysteries want you to know that that is okay there is not going to be any kind of spiritual punishment there's not going to be any kind of negative karma for loving that person at a distance loving them but saying you know what i love you you're my mother you're my child you're my grown child obviously we don't want to do that to to teenagers but saying to your parent or your grown child, I need to have either no contact with you or very, 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 very small amount of contact with you because you are not healthy for my mental health, okay? 
And you have to understand that there are times um, that there are times that that person may be your own child. There are times that that person may be your own parent. And they are meant to be a reflection in this lifetime, like I said before, that is the reflection of the villain that you need to overcome within yourself. So it is okay to speak about it, to get help, get mental help, get spiritual help, get the emotional help that you need to overcome this. But the only solution to an energy vampire, a lot of the time, I would say 99% of the time, aside from using spiritual products to keep them away from you if you're working with one, but the solution usually when they're in your own family, 99% of the time is distance. It is distance, it is no contact. And it's also no contact with those people who enable their behavior. Those people whom still have not seen them as an energy vampire and who continue to enable their behavior, okay? Because there are people around narcissists, around pessimists that do not see that behavior. They don't see the pattern because they're still believing the poor me story or the I'm a great person story. And they, don't, they do not see how, that, how toxic that person is. So if you have, if sometimes there has to be distance from multiple people. The person who is the narcissist and the pessimist and anyone connected to that person who is enabling their behavior, who just says, oh, that's just, a, that's, just who, that's just who she is. That's just who he is. You know, they don't mean any bad. That's just who they are. You know, they're too old to change at this point. No, everyone must take accountability. It, it, whether you're one year old or a hundred years old, you have the power to take accountability for your own actions. And if you are a narcissist, if you are a pessimist, if you are an energy vampire and you refuse to get help for that because most energy vampires do not realize that they are energy vampires and those who are around them who enable them refuse to stop enabling them, then you need to get them out of your life. It is a life or death situation because dealing with a narcissist can lead to extremely horrible conditions for your mental health down the line. And it can not only destroy you, but could destroy your own children if it's your parent. And it's a hard decision. It is a very hard decision. And I know it's a very hard decision. And this may be a very, um, exactly. Narcs are not able to empath um, empathize with anyone. They're not. They have false empathy, meaning that they can pretend to have empathy but they really don't they really don't care there are people out there you know like sociopaths and and um psychopath psychopaths who are also able to imitate human behavior but actually have no ability to feel that feeling okay and that is true when you do remove the supply which is yourself that can trigger them to be violent so just be very careful how you go about it however Keep in mind that it's always most important to take care of yourself spiritually and mentally and to not allow yourself to continue being the food, to be continue being the blood supply to the vampire, okay? That's all that I have to say to you today. Um, and Archangel Raphael just wanted you guys to know that there is not any spiritual or um, karmic repercussions to choosing your mental health choosing your life over having a having a relationship um with a narcissist or a pessimist or a sociopath okay um none of these energy vampires once you've learned the lesson that soul contract with that person is over so you are able to move forward all right my loves have a blessed night and may the angels and mysteries bless you each and every day. Mwah.